Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. Today I'm speaking with Lisa Green, Director of the Common Crawl Foundation. Welcome. Thank you. Let's start by talking about what is the concept of the Common Crawl. Common Crawl is all about access to data. We believe that greater access to data will drive innovation in every area of society. So what kind of data do you have? We have web crawl data. The web is the largest collection of information in human history. It's, it's an amazing da data set. So we build and maintain this repository of open web crawl data. Metrically speaking, how big are we talking about here? We have about 8 billion web pages, about 100 terabytes. Okay. And you store that where? We store it on S3, and that's a crucial part of fulfilling our mission. So data in a silo doesn't do anyone any good. So we put it on S3 where it's accessible to anyone for free. It's actually on Amazon Web Services public data sets. And the other great thing about it being on S3 is you can compute against it. It's right there for EC2. You can run EMR jobs against it. Now, what was the original thinking behind this when you said, OK, the world doesn't have one of these. We should create one. What were you thinking? Well, it wasn't me that founded it. Our founder is named Gil Abaz. And Gil uh, had a company that was bought by Google. And when Gil got inside Google, he realized how amazing web data is as a data set. It's amazing what you can do when you have a copy of the web, as Google does. But he felt like you shouldn't have to work at Google or Yahoo or Yandex in order to have access to this. He said, this is an amazing resource, but everyone should have access to it. So after he left Google, he started a for-profit company, and he started Common Crawl as a nonprofit to provide people access to web crawl data. So this really means that any developer with some access to AWS can sit down in, in their favorite coffee shop, fire up their laptop, and start processing lots and lots of data? Yeah, I think it, you can sit down and spin up a few spot instances and be running across 8 billion web pages. And I think this demonstrates the future of computing, that any developer, a curious coder, has access to this kind of data and has the ability to analyze it. This is not the era of needing your a data center to be associated with a large institution, thanks to EC2. Now, what kind of applications have you seen people building on top of this? Well, we just did a code contest recently, and I saw some really interesting entries from that. Uh, there were three winners, but it was a really tough decision, and there were a lot of great projects that were honorable mentions, close runners up. One of the ones that I really liked was a sentiment analysis, and it was called Online Sentiment Toward Congressional Bills. And it did sentiment analysis around any page that mentioned a specific bill by name. I think that's a great example of the kind of things you can do with web data. Do, do you think that this is really going to be kind of outlier processing for the average developer, or is this something that, they should, that anybody should know how to do? I think everyone should know how to do this. And that's another focus that we have, is using Common Crawl data as an educational resource developing curriculum material that teach these techniques with real world data, common crawl data. I, not only should every developer know how to do it, in the future, everyone should know how to do it. Now, how do people get started with this? Do they need to apply and get a license and everything, or can they just no, plug in? No, it's and on go? public data sets, and anyone can access it for free. If, as far as getting started technically, there's a few approaches. We have a GitHub repository with a lot of example code. We also have an Amazon machine image, and that's really probably the easiest way to get started. Just click on the AMI, and it just gets you started on analyzing it on Amazon. Well, I've really enjoyed learning more about the Common Crawl, and wish you the best of luck in the future. Thanks for having me, Jeff. Thanks it was so great much. Great to talk with you. It's been my pleasure. This has been the AWS Report, and I'm Jeff Barr.